In this video, I'll teach you how you can import your book notes in the Readwise app. If you're new here, I'm a certified math and physics teacher in Ontario who holds a master's degree in statistics. So this is a book I read a, a while ago, I think in 2020, pretty good book if you're into an analytics of all sports, but particularly hockey analytics. I took highlighter notes um, from the book and the bad thing about this is that you can't like you can go back, but you don't have like a quick view of all your notes of the book. You actually need to go through each page of the book, which is very, very time consuming and not realistic. So what I did at the time was in my journal, you can see the date March 21st, 2020. I actually wrote down like the page numbers and my thoughts. So like almost like one page per chapter. And that's like a pretty good note taking method. I could take the time to type it out and, and all of that and write an article. That was my plan. But instead, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in my Readwise system, which reminds me of book notes every day. So it uses space repetition, which increases my recall and retention. So Readwise, uh, you have four highlights per day. You can increase it or decrease it to however you want it. And all your, like, let's say you're reading digital books, all your highlights are synced automatically. But what about if you like the feel of a physical book. And this is kind of like a reference book. So the physical copy, there's lots of books like this where I'll buy the physical copy. And I want the physical copy. So let's say we start at the start here and introduction, there might, there's probably not gonna be any uh, yellow in here, but okay, so that's my first yellow. And uh, here it says like, hey look, there's a, there's one and then there's another one and then there's another, then it, it's a counting statistic. So let's say that that's the sentence I want here. What I do is I go on my app at the bottom, the second tab is add highlight. We can do it via text, so that'd be like typing it manually. But you can also try to do via photo. And the trick is if you try to do both pages, the OCR will, will go over both pages and then that's not good, okay? So here you can see that it's working hard, but it, it kind of figured out that that's page two. But let's say the pages are too close together, then you're you're much better off just putting one page in the picture. So right now that's just one page, and I I just uh, press the, the take picture button, and then I'll get I'll try to get the OCR to pick up on that one sentence. And usually it's a bit faster than this. I'm not sure what's going on here, but then then I can just go back to my sentence, add that. So I have my sentence that I want. I press save highlight. And then this is, uh, then it's a counting statistic. You see that it skipped a line here. So it's pretty good. Apart from that, I, I press next, add a note. I could write something I want here. Page number is 15 and then add a new book. This is stat shot, stat shot. It's this one, right? So I click on that one, add another passage, and you could add the title. So I'll show you how to add a title in your Readwise. So here it's Hockey Stats 101. So now I'll add it as a title. Get the OCR to work. You can see that it can be pretty time consuming to do this still, right? So if you do it as you go, it might be a better approach, but then you get out of the flow of reading your book. So save highlight, that's Hockey Stats 101. I want to add a note and I'll do dot H1 and that's the tag for the header in Readwise. So I'll, I'll, uh, you can, I'll get you to check out the links in the description below and there's a bunch of descriptions for that. The page is 11, so then add a new book. We don't need to, we already have this thing now. So it's save highlight to this book, and now this should be a header. And we can see that when we use Readwise in our browser, Hockey Stats 101 is indeed a header. And that's just because we put the tag .h1. And then obviously if you want like, uh, like subtitles and stuff like that, it'd be .h2, .h3, and then it would create this like, uh, 
table of content type thing automatically for you. So there you have it, folks. I think you can see how it can be pretty time consuming to do it that way, but it's hard to tell whether it's better to just type out the sentences. I think for long passages, the OCR is much better, but then you might get typos and your apostrophes might not be in the right place or the spacing might not work properly. So it's hard to tell which one's faster, but I'll let you figure it out. So I, I taught you the method of how to do it. Now it's up to you to be a practitioner and actually try it and see what works for you. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Make sure to check out the other Readwise and GTD and Second Brain videos that are appearing on your screen. And as always, thank you for doing the work. Mm -hmm.